Kind of Going fast. back to your tattoo, mm. have you had some more thoughts on the flower that you were planning for your butt? A wee little pahutakawa. No, I didn't say butt. Oh, sorry, that was off air. He definitely said butt. You said that it would be funny if I was saggy in that area to have to prise my skin apart to see actually what it meant, what it was. You could have, you could have like something that when you were just standing normally, it was. It, it, you thought, well, what actually is that? You could have a flower that opened and closed as you sat. Yeah, you could. You could. Oh no, you could. You could have. It could be like no, that's clever. It could be like a bud when you were standing, and then if you bent over, it would be a whole flower. <laughs> All right, um, this is what was so a little bit of feedback here. Sorry, Hills. Um, um, hi, Paul, stop. Dairy Farmer, stop. Listen to you every morning, stop. Love your show, stop. Reckon you should do a pole stroke competition to decide what kind of tattoo and whereabouts on your body to get it, stop. That's the kind of thing you'd get from a dairy farmer because they're just direct. They've got an idea. I've got an idea. Where's my stabbing pad? <laughs> and they get their stabbing pad, which we call iPads, but oh, right. dairy farmers call them stabbing pads. Mm. And um, they send missives like that. So I think around my front. Oh, dear. Not my bottom. Around the front of my bottom area. Mm-hmm. Don't, Jim. I'm, I'm not. Don't, just leave no, it, well, leave it out there. Say don't, Jim. It's just, <laughs> no, but it's just out there. I'm just being honest because this program is all about honesty. I think I shall, I shall get a tattoo. If I get a tattoo, I'm thinking like a wandering rose or something like that. Like, where's the rose? You know, there's the... <laughs> <laughs> There's the tentacle. Where's the actual rose? Oh, you'll have yeah. to you'll have to prowl around to find that one, mm. won't you? Yes, good story. You know what I mean? Well, it's not a whole story, is no. it? There's a lot left unsaid, quite frankly. Thankfully, mm. on right. a day where where Uber will bring well, not only a bit. It was just a. I'm just Don't not you obsessed link with my own Uber, SPCA, and kittens to your love of ladies' undies. No, I was Steady merely on. pointing <laughs> that you today is the day you can have a young cat. Let's call it a kitten, delivered directly to you to stroke. That's all I'm saying. And it is today, and thirty dollars it will cost you and the money will go. It seems strange that it's only thirty dollars. It does seem quite minutes. cheap. Yeah, but thirty dollars yeah, includes the, the trip. Uber thing it seems coming. very cheap. I don't think there's gonna be much profit there for SPCA. It depends. If you're quite close to the SPCA, I suppose it's obviously more. But then you could go to the SPCA and stroke a kitten at any time. And then this one, which I think is almost on the cusp of not being readable. <laughs> He's going to read it. <laughs> you know about the kitten thing, because obviously it sparked a lot, this yes. this kitten thing, uh, which today, to raise money funds for the um, SPCA, you can have Uber will bring a, a cat to you and they'll wait while you stroke it. I know. If you think that's weird, well, it actually is. Um, but the, the SPCA thought it up, so it must be wholesome. Anyway, um, Mick, a timely reminder on this from Mick. Uh, Mick says, subject pussycats, always remember when you're stroking a pussy. All oh. kittens grow up to be cats. And I think that has a double meaning. I'm not entirely sure, yeah. but I think that has a double meaning. And within about 25 minutes, Jim will get it. Right.